today we're going to talk about why the Z Fold 4 is better than the Z Flip 4. I thought we were just comparing them. What do you mean better? This, no, they're the same. my phone turns into a tablet. Of course it's better. Why are we even having this conversation? I flip them a little, a little cheaper. Are you just going? Totally team Z Fold 4. This phone is absolutely great. I've been using it for a lot of productivity stuff, like writing my own creative stuff and reading books. I even actually wrote part of my review on this phone. On top of that, there's finally a flagship camera on a foldable with a 50 megapixel shooter. It can shoot pictures pretty great. And it even captures black skin really well. Probably the biggest downside about this phone, other than its $2,269 price though, is its battery. It can only last a day, and I really expected more this time around. So I've been testing out the Flip 4, and as you probably know, I'm a huge photography nerd, so all of the elements that the Flip aspect adds to photography, I'm in love with. A, you can put it down like a little tripod, B, you can hold it like a camcorder, that's probably the one that's the most fun, and those are what I love about the Flip 4 the most. People are worried about the crease, I don't really notice it in day-to-day -day use, I think people should probably get over that, um, but what they should worry about is battery life. It definitely could be better, I'm getting barely a full day through. I'm definitely keeping this on plug as much as possible. And uh, oh yeah, the last thing is that this screen, as nice as it is, with polarized sunglasses, doesn't work at all. It's just super rainbow and it sucks. And that's, uh, yeah, it's a cute option, but that's all I have. So we're just gonna briefly talk about our cover screen experience and why mine was far better. Uh, with the Z Fold 4, you get a full phone on the front. It's a 6.2 inch display with a pretty okay aspect ratio and then you can actually use it as an, a full device. What do you got? I have a tiny display. It's about the size of my thumbnail. No, it's a little bigger than that. You can use it to like line up photos, check notifications. You can control volume, Bluetooth, the weather and a few other things. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not a functional phone like Dean says there. Like if I want to respond to a text, I need to use like a preset, like yes, no, or on my way type of text message or use voice. And what do you got? You got like full Yeah, Android. I'm using That's, YouTube right now. I'm checking my Discord, right you know. Is that 120 hertz on the yeah, front? Yeah, it's 120 yeah. hertz. It has a wider aspect ratio, so you can actually use it like a phone compared to last year where it was kind of a little, a little annoying. Okay, no, 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 I win here. Yeah, we'll give the point to the fold. All right, this time we're talking about who has the better folding aspect, what fold adds more to your life, and this one adds a lot. It's very portable, fits in all your pockets, you set up like a tripod, use it like a camcorder. I mean, what more could you ask for? My uh, phone turns into a tablet. What do you, what do you mean what else more I can ask for? It's, it's better. More bigger doesn't always mean better, first of all, and like, say, watch what I could do. Like, hey, Dean, I'm done with you. And I could just hang up that call like a boss, put it in my pocket. My phone could do two things at once. Like, I have a full screen to watch videos and a full screen to read. I mean, I don't do both at the same time usually, but I can, and he can't. I could maybe do two things at once, I guess. It'd be smaller and it'd be just like a regular Android phone, though. I can do three things at once. Um, um, I, guess, I guess my third thing is that I will be going. Gotta say the Fold 4 wins in this one too. After all that debating, Dean and I went out and took some photos just to compare the phones and it'd be great if you could let us know in the comments below which one you think really came out on top. And we'll check back in with you at the conclusion.
Hey guys, uh, take a look at the pictures we took. Let us know in the comments below what you think is better. I mean, obviously the Z Fold 4 won in this category, like in every other category. No, the Z Fold did win a lot of the categories, but I, I think in the photo category, beyond the telephoto zoom lens, where the Fold will probably win that one for sure, it's it's gonna be closer than most of the other categories. I think this is the one where the fold or the flip punches above its weight class. The processing just brings them all into range. Did you guys hear that Freudian slip? He even <laughs> said the fold. It's it's obviously it's gonna be the fold that wins. No. Uh, let's move on and let's talk about just end it off. Um, the Z Fold 4 is pretty expensive yeah that's probably the biggest down or the biggest downside to yeah it. i was gonna say there's one area where the flip is definitely beating the fold yeah definitely the fold for is uh 2,269.99, uh, and that gives you 12 gigabytes of RAM, and currently there's a deal that gives you 512 gigabytes of storage. Gives you two MacBooks if you wanted it to be. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> How much is the flip floor? Uh, the flip floor is like $1,250 in Canada. We should mention the prices will be a little less in American, um, but 1250 Canadian, which is, I would say, comparable to a lot of other high-end phones here, like the iPhone 13 Pro Max. It is a little less than the S22 Ultra, but this is like within a range that you could get it as a good deal from a carrier or even a good deal from Samsung I think it, it can be like discounted at this price in a way that that one what happens if you discount that like how much is it gonna be it'll probably be two thousand dollars <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah the fold is definitely cool it has like the most uh, usefulness I think we figured out today but you're, you're paying for that that extra bit you can check this out the flip is pretty like pretty at least like Thank the you. fold is my fold is a grayish green color whereas this is a cool lilac and it comes in a whole bunch of other different colors that are pretty cool um so at least there are some benefits with the flip four uh but i think i won today buddy i don't know yeah probably i think yeah whoa i'm in the like emergency call screen um but i think dean's right when it gets to it the fold four adds more to the phone experience but if you're looking for just a phone experience at a phone experience cost, the flip is here and there is no doubt that it is like a fun and a very cool phone. But check out our reviews on mobilesyrup.com to learn even more about them and uh, stay tuned, like and subscribe for more. Peace.